Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Emerald Z. When we last left off, while well, we had managed to get Rayquaza to come out and take care of Kyogre and Groudon and stop their pointless bickering. And we also started off a little bit of the Sotopolis Gym. And today, well, we're going to finish off the Topless Gym. Now let's actually finally properly talk to him. Yo, how's it going, Champion Mount Thoris? Sotopolis' Gym Leader Juan is a Master of Water type Pokemon. And to get to Juan, an icy floor will hamper your progress. Listen, I'm sorry, but that's all the advice that I have for you. The rest of the way, you have to go for... Oh, wait. The rest of the way, you have to go for it yourself. Okay. I misread that for a moment there. I do believe you have to do something like this. Yep. And now we're actually going to purposefully drop down here to fight these trainers. The sight of Juan conducting a battle, the very beauty of it compelled me to become a trainer. I can battle with really rare Pokemon if you'd like. Yeah. It's a double battle, which means Ivysaur will get to pop in. Love deck. I'm gonna cut that out. Love Desk and Feebas. Hmm. Alright. So first off, I'm gonna have Charizard uh, do a nice slash on Feebas. Meanwhile, Venusaur, I have to call it Ivysaur, but Venusaur is going to do a nice Razor Leaf on both of them. Oof. Which should hopefully take out Feedbass, considering how or Feebas, considering how low Feebas is on health right now. Yep, there we go. Feebas is taken out. And there's yet another Feebas that's uh, come out to say hello. I'm actually going to have Charizard target loved us now. We're still going to have, uh, wow. Oh, return's not going to make Venusaur return. Thank God. Anyways, we're going to have Venusaur do Razor Leaf to actually try and take out Love Disc and also do a fair bit of damage to Feebas. Okay, Love Disc got taken out. Perfect. Feebas is at half health. So what we're going to do next it's simple. Charizard's going to target Love Dusk again. Venusaur is still going to use Razor Leaf. And both Feebas and Love Dusk are about to get knocked out at once. Nice and simple. Ha ha ha. My plan has worked beautifully. Yeah. You used it on Charizard when Charizard already attacked. It's not going to save you. Maybe if you used it on Venusaur, you'd have a chance this turn. But, since you didn't, you're not. Because the Love Disk is out, and so is Feebas. And guess what that means? We win this battle. Nice and simple. You battled with more beauty than I could muster. Oh, there now. Did you have a good look at my Pokemon? $21,000 from that. That's a lot of money. All right. Let's see, let's go to our bag. We're actually going to use a Hyper Potion on... Well, actually, do we have... Do we have a Super Potion? I think we might have some Super Potions. If we do, I'm totally going to use them, but I don't think we do. I don't think I have any Super Potions. Nope, I don't have Super Potions. So I'm just going to heal up Theris, or Theris, Venusaur, with the Hyper Potion. There we go. Now up here there's, oh, there's five trainers. That's going to be a fun set of battles to go through. But you know what, we'll go through them. Now this is going to be a little bit tougher to do. No, it's not. Never mind. This is going to be a little bit tougher to do. This is legitimately going to take a few tries. Maybe. Yep. No. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, really? I tapped down and it didn't make me go down. Oh, well. 
I need to drop down here anyways. Yada yada yada. The Pokemon gem of the highest level in the Horn region. That's a Sudopolis gem. There are actually six trainers. I didn't see that one in the top left. Well then. Let's actually get through these. Azumarill. A nice Charizard. That'll make short work for you, hopefully. Probably. Maybe. Alright, Slash. Roll out. Come on. The reason why I'm not trying to use other moves other than Slash right now is because I don't know how they'll react. For example, Aerial Ace is the only move that would possibly do anything more to it than Slash, but I don't know if it would actually. And I know that Flamethrower is not going to do anything against the Sumeral, because it's a water type and it's a fire type move. I don't think Metal Claw is effective. I don't think Metal or Steel attacks are effective against water types, so sure, why not? We'll try Aerial Ace and see what happens. Yep, that's what I feared. It did not do what I wanted it to do. Okay, <laughs> Charizard! Huh. Yeah, I'm not gonna take the chance, actually. I'm not gonna take the chance on that. <laughs> One HP! Oh, that was a mistake. I should've just healed. Or not healed, I should've just attacked. Okay, I'm just attacking. I'm just attacking. Charizard's gonna go first. I should've... Oh, I wasted the... Hyper Potion. Because I forgot the cardinal rule of rollout. Its attack strength increases the more that it's used. I forgot that. Oh, I forgot that. Alright. Ugh. Giggle, your grim look is so charming. Grim look? Who are you talking to? All right, here we go, Sea King. You know what? I'm actually gonna switch out for Theris real quick. Because Theris will actually be able to deal with Sea King pretty easily. And also give Theris a great chance to actually power up. All right. Uh, let's go with Leaf Blade. Okay, there we go. Good. Leaf Blade's going out. That should maybe one hit Sea King? Yep, it one hit him. It one hit him hard. Oh, man. Charizard's at level 44 now. Beautiful. And Charizard is now trying to learn Dragon Claw. Yes! Okay. Oh man, yep, Metal Claw's going away. It's being replaced by Dragon Claw. <laughs> I love Dragon Claw. I love it. It's one of my favorites. And it's so powerful too. 16,000! And that's why I'm also having Charizard go out first. Oh, this is gonna be a double battle. Oh. 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 Venus Force Graphs get switched out quick. Like, really quick. Whew. A Zordal and a Clam Pearl. Oh boy. Now they're weaker. Well, actually, Venusaur might stick out for a bit longer because I think that Venusaur might be able to handle it. Uh, we're gonna go with Aerial Ace on Clam Pearl first, and then Razor Leaf on both of them. We'll see how that goes. Aerial Ace did some nice damage against Clam Pearl. And Razor Leaf took out Azurl in one hit. Nice! Not what I expected. And Sped took out Clam Pearl as well. Wow. Huh. Oh, they have six Pokemon total. Oh, Meryl. So the next one that that person's gonna send out is an Azumarill. Oh, look, there's a Corfish. Corfish. 
remember that one. I actually remember that Pokemon a fair bit from the show. It's like one of the few uh, Pokemon that I remember from the Hoenn series for Pokemon. Okay, we're gonna go with an Aerial Ace and Corphish, and Razor Leaf on both, again. Oh, that's fine with me. I'm perfectly fine with you getting hit with an Aerial Ace, because I was already targeting you with Aerial Ace, Corphish. That should, yep, it's gonna take out Corphish, nice, quick, and easy. Didn't quite take out Meryl, but, you know, meh. Uh, it leaves one more there. A Lombre. Oh, man, Lombre. <laughs> That's a little bit tougher. But we'll be able to take out the Lombre pretty easily. Now, we're actually going to target Lombre with an Aerialist, because I believe that Lombres uh, have the type disadvantage towards flying, I'm pretty sure. So we're just going to go with it, and it should do a nice bit of damage. Well, what? Lombres aren't weak to flying attacks like I thought it was. I thought they were. So, oh well. Still got taken out. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And now it's an Azumarill, correct? Yep. I thought so. Because they were definitely showing off that kind of evolution of Pokemon being sent out. Where it was the Azurl, the Meryl. And now Zoomerol. So we're just gonna do this. And that. And that uh, Zoomerol's going to get taken out. Nice, quick, and easy. Maybe not this turn, but definitely next turn that Zoomerol's going down. Yep. One hit away. One teensy hit away. Oh, man. Oh, well. Whew. You know what? I'm just gonna do that. So it'll happen. Oh no, never mind! Venusaur's gonna come in with the Vine Whip. Nice, quick, and easy. And seal the thunder from Charizard. Oh well. That's perfectly fine with me. Now we only have two trainers left to beat. Nice, 12k. 12k cash from those two. Oh, really? A graceful glide across the ice of crossing the lines. Train putting on the performance would be elegantly beautiful. On that performance. Putting on that performance. Whatever. Words are difficult. <laughs> they are when you're me, sometimes. Alright, well, it looks like this is just going to be a nice little single battle featuring Chazad once again. Which is going to be interesting when I go to face the gym leader. Now we're going to start off with a nice aerial ace. Oh, nice! A taunt on Charizard. When it's a single Pokemon battle and not a double. Beautiful. Best decision, Garbana. Best decision, trainer. Alright, we're gonna go with a slash. Or not. Oh well, we'll tell you a torpedo. And taken out. Nice, quick, and easy. And no, we're not changing our Pokemon. Charizard's gonna take out this Garbana. Now this this Carvana has no choice but to fight Charizard. <laughs> so we're gonna go with the slash. Yeah, you can keep taunting all you want. It's not the smartest thing to do do in this case, considering the fact that Charizard only has one target, and that there's no other Pokemon that you can target. So it's kind of stupid and pointless. Not gonna lie, not the smartest thing you can do. Ah, uh, all right. You came all the way here, but you won't get to see one. Not if you lose to me, you won't. Yeah, I won't lose to you. Simple as that. Last Chrissy would like to battle. Last Chrissy send out a gold dean. Roast fish, anyone? I'm kidding. I would never use flamethrower against gold dean. Because that would be pointless, considering the fact that gold dean is water type, and they're not very... They're not very weak to fire at all. Say the least. Come on. And we're just gonna keep going aerial ice because aerial ice will take out Goldine and another hit. Like this. 
boom. Knocked on out. Get on out of here, Goldeen. On to the next one. A Whelmer. You know what? Yeah, we'll switch up Pokemon. There's, come on out here. <clears throat> this is gonna be nice and easy. Nice, quick, easy, and all that. Now, Leaf Blade. Come on. Take out that Whelmer. Whelmer. Whelmer? Whelmer. It's Whelmer. And there we go. And now we're actually going to take a quick trip to the Pokemon Center. Oh, man. Darius is almost level 41. You're strong. I was fooled by your cute looks. Oh, well, thanks for the compliment. All right. Now we're actually going to head all the way, as I said before, back to the Pokemon Center. So that way, we'll have a fresh set when we go to actually challenge the gym leader. Our, our Pokemon will be nice, fresh, and fully healed. That's maybe an odd bit of a way, or an odd way of stating that, but, you know, whatever. Alright, let's heal up. And... Go on in, rest up. Give me back my Pokemon. And now we exit. Now, why are you two still here? What, what, what? What is that green Pokemon? Oh, it was you who brought that flying Pokemon here? Well, aren't you amazing? Yep. Now, why are you still in the way? I want to get access to those doors eventually. Those houses. So I want to say hi to people inside. <clears throat> At some point, anyways, I do. And now... We continue on. Nice, simple, easy. Dun, 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 dun. And here we are. Nice and easy! Let me ask you, did you know? Ah, I should not be so coy. It was I who taught Wallace everything there is to know about Pokemon. Once I had given up my position as the gym leader, in my place I had entrusted Wallace with the gym. However, a compelling reason arose for me to make a comeback. How about enough chatter? Let's begin our match, shall we? Please, you shall bear witness to our artistry. A grand illusion of water sculpted by Pokemon and myself. Lena Wan would like to battle. Sent out a love disc, eh? A love disc, eh? How lovely of you. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da. We're gonna start out with a couple slashes. Oh, a crit! Well then, if Charizard was just a little bit more powerful, that actually would have taken out Luptus. And you're gonna use a Hyper Potion, and you're gonna be right back where you started. Because you're still gonna be brought down to very, very low health. Oh, no, never mind, not as low as I thought you would be. Alright, well, slash again. Another crit! Okay! Right where you would have been. Oh, uh, no, we're not gonna switch Pokemon quite yet. We'll take out this Whisk Cash. Momentarily! It won't take too much effort, hopefully, for Charizard. Because he just has to use Slash a bunch. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, great, Rain Dance. Which overrides the Drought. Which powers up with Cash's moves. Which kind of sucks. At least the Water type moves. Thankfully, it does not power up Earthquake. That would suck. I'm gonna have to heal up uh, Charizard here soon. But not before taking out with Cash. Hmm. Yeah, we'll switch out Charizard now. Because he's gotten low on health. I don't want to take a turn to heal him right now. Celio, eh? Celio, eh? I'll take out that Celio right quick. With a leaf blade. Get on out of here, Celio. Sorry, but this isn't your show. 
Oh! Maybe it is! Huh! Huh! Well then! That's not what I expected! That's not what I expected at all! Kingdra? Okay, we're gonna have to switch out for Charizard. And we'll heal, heal Theris up here in a minute. But first, we're actually gonna heal up uh, Charizard real quick. Because he's at a pretty low point right now. I didn't realize Aurora Beam was so powerful. Now, the only really effective moves for Charizard to do would be for him to actually use Dragon Claw right now. Due to the fact that Kingdra is only really weak to Dragon type moves, at least in this game. Normally, Kingdra would also be weak to Fairy types, but as of this generation, Fairy types don't exist yet. Yet. So, yeah. Alright. We're gonna fight Dragon Claw. Knock out Kingdra. One hit wonder. Man. Crawdon? Yeah. We'll switch out back for Theris. And then you know what we're gonna do? Because I know that Theris actually has the Macho Brace on, I'm just gonna use a Hyper Potion. I'm not gonna risk it. <clears throat> I'm not gonna risk that he's gonna end up going second and then get knocked out by Crawdon. Yeah, that would have just, just barely knocked Theris out because he only had four health before that. I'm gonna go with Leaf Blade. Theris would have gone first! At least with the Leaf Blade, he would have. Would that not have knocked him out? Would that have knocked him out? It would have knocked him out. Well, no, maybe not, because that was a crit. So I don't know how much damage it would have actually done normally if it hadn't critted. Oh, well, we defeat him. Ahaha, <laughs> excellent, very well, you are the winner. From you, I sense that br the brilliant shine of skill that will overcome all. However, compared to me or even Wallace, you are lacking in elegance. Perhaps I should make you a loan of my outfit? This is a pretty fancy outfit. Ha ha ha, merely chess. Rather than my clothes, I shall reward you with this, the rain badge. At 9,200 for winning, and the rain badge. Having the rain badge shall show you the full obedience of all your Pokemon to your every command. The rain badge also allows the use of the ancient move waterfall to scale walls of cascading water. So that you never forget the battle we shared, take this. TM03, your roar beam? Take this from hand, you can- oh, water pulse. In use, it will occasionally confuse the target with ultrasonic waves. And we registered him. <laughs> the trainers who gathered all the gym badges of Hoenn should make way to the ultimate destination, the Pokemon League. Travel to the east and west reaches of Hoenn, to the island Evergrande. There you shall find the Pokemon League. And there we go. You gonna say anything? You gonna say anything? Uh, nope. Well, that's everyone. Or every Pokemon trainer in this gym. Now let's talk to him. Yo, you've beaten even one who's supposedly the best in all Owen. Okay, check out your trainer card. If you've gotten all the badges, you're set for the Pokemon League Challenge. And we have... Oh, we're ready to go for the Pokemon League. However, that's not going to start off in this episode. That is going to have to wait for the next episode. Thank you. Episode. I can't speak still. Thank you guys so much for coming out to today's episode of Pokemon Emerald Z. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Also, consider hitting the subscribe button to get notifications when I next upload a video. Don't forget to also check out links down below in the description for my Twitch, my Patreon, my Streamlabs, my Twitter, my other YouTube channel, and all that other stuff down below in the description. Don't forget to also comment down below what you thought of today's episode, and don't forget to share this video on social media. Now, with all that being said, thank you guys once again for coming out to today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.